<laughs> Let me call you sweetheart, bro. Uh, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> You know, I, I am a, I'm a bass player who plays sousaphone. That's why I won't say that. At the turn of the century, the much master John Philip Sousa music was adopted by the parade bands and military bands. At the time, they were using tubas, which is a concert instrument. And so they modified the tubas so they could march with it. Uh, my parents were in Hurricane Betsy, so mine is Hurricane Katrina. I think I was in real survival mode. But I'm thinking we gotta get out. It felt like you know it was either the kids or the horn, you know, <laughs> kids, horn. I know y'all get the cut. <laughs> yeah, I was born in the lower ninth ward. Uh, and I went down there uh, recently, like the schools I went to, the neighborhoods I grew up in, man, it's just, it's, it's still going. Man. I mean, they got stuff down there, but you don't even see the streets where I grew up, man, pretty much. It's like this car covered over the grass. I never thought I had a chance to say this. I've been playing for 30 years, man. And I'm not 60 yet, so I'll let you know. I'm not 50 yet either, so I mean, like most Musicians in the world, it all started in church. You saw that with being in the choir, and band camp was like all little boys want to play drums. I mean, Herman Jones, who I give all my credit to, he said, You gonna play this, you gonna play this, because I got too many drums. But I never would have picked this, you know. Who, two friends are usually like the fat guys in the band, right? You know, then I'm not the biggest guy in the world, y'all can say. With the Dirty Dozen for 17 years, I toured with a lot of bands. Uh, Bands you might have heard of, like the Black Crows, uh, Flash Ray Panic, Al Green, B.B. King, Ray Charles, James Brown. Our parents didn't force us to play, you know, just, if we enjoyed doing it and we weren't in trouble, we'd do it, you know. Dad, and the fact that I had a grandfather who was a jazz fanatic, uh, Joel Davis, he was a cool dude, man, with these type of caps. He, uh, he was back during the Miles Davis era, talking, snapping your fingers, man, smoking and smoky joints, and listen to his, his LPs, you know. Y'all know what that is, that's not a CD, it's an album. <laughs> I think he left something with me. I have a son and a daughter, and uh, she likes music now, you know. She can actually play on the horn, on the mouthpiece on the instrument, she can tune on it. And she's not, she's just two years old. I think she's something to make me keep my eye on. There's no other city that gonna, you're going to embody so much spirituality and music in the streets. You know, we even have music in our funerals. And if you just stop talking, man, you can hear music all through this place, man. I hear, I hear it back there, I hear it over here. It's like conversation. You know, you know, you ever been in a room full of people and you know, you don't know what they're talking about, but you know what they're talking? That's what the music is here, man. Oh, y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>